Oh no, Jeffrey, it's happening again. He's in a social situation, but he's just not present. Inside of his mind, he's deep in thought. Are they lucky? Are they judging? Wait, what if they don't like me? What should, what should I say next? I think of something funny. I'm bored, but like, I, I want them to like me. By being so socially anxious, Jeffrey actually comes across worse in social settings, even though he's spending more time thinking about this. His friends notice that he doesn't seem like he's actually here. He seems vacant. He seems deep in thought. This cycle of negativity just continues till Jeffrey just feels lonelier and and lonelier. Adonis. Adonis is a social butterfly. So charismatic, so charming, so confident. There are no anxious thoughts inside of Adonis' brain. In fact, there are no thoughts at all. He's totally present. How can we get like this? Aren't you tired of overthinking social situations? Don't you wish that you could just be around your friends or even new people and just be present and be charming and charismatic and not be just constantly thinking about things in your mind? I remember having this same goal years and years ago in high school. Bro, I, this conversation fucking hurt. I remember a couple of my friends were like telling me the story of like what happened in a sleepover. So, you know, they were talking about uh, like some sleepover they were all at, right? And I wasn't there. And you know, like, oh yeah, they they um, shaved someone's hair off or some, you know, some like goofy shit like that boys do, right? And I kind of said, oh, like that's, that's why I'd never come to a sleepover with you guys. And I just saw one of my friends very seriously look at me and say, no, because we didn't even invite you anyway. When you've had like shitty friends and you know, shitty social experiences, you can start to overthink these things. But first we have to know that young guys aren't really that respectful. They're going through their own journey and it might not be their priority just yet to just make you feel totally like welcomed. And you know, it'd be awesome if you know, your friends did that. But oftentimes like this doesn't necessarily mean that they're like really bad people. It's just unfortunate circumstances that you know usually there's a couple of people in a group of friends that don't really get treated that nicely we want to try our best not to let previous social experiences that weren't that great alter us right now and of course you know we've got some level of like history which our brain is like attached to those <laughs> negative situations but we can try and overcome that but first you may have even pushed to the point of perhaps convincing yourself that you don't really need friends i see this with a lot of young guys who've experienced you know like not great friends and they kind of have this new attitude of like yeah well i don't need anyone else i'm a, I'm a lone wolf i'm all fine by myself. I did the lone wolf thing myself. So I, I went literally months and months and months, like honestly different periods of my life, like multiple times I went like literally six months, nine months without speaking to a single like male friend, honestly. And I'll tell you the truth. It was fantastic for focus. I had no friends to like do anything with. So I, all I had to do was just work and just go to the gym. So that was good. But honestly, life and growth and work and success without friends just feels so so empty, so shallow. I'm not saying that you need to be popular or have like a massive group of friends, but what we should all aspire to, I think at the least, is to have like one, two, maybe three, like die hard, good as fuck friends, because your life is so different when you, it's like, it's incomparable when you have no friends to when you just have one or two good, I'm not talking like, you know, some random ass friend who like, it, like disrespects you and insults you and says, oh, it's just the joke, bro. I'm not talking about that prick. I fucking hate that guy, bro. You might've never experienced this in your life before, but I'm, I'm talking about like, Sam. You need a Sam in your life, bro. A male friend, specifically male. I don't mean to be sexist, but bro, as a young man, you need male friends. You can have a female friend if you want, and you know, we can go down this argument. Can men have uh, female friends and stuff? You need a male friend who you love, who you can trust, and who encourages you. You need a guy who's on this journey with you because that's just so valuable being able to like, just discuss ideas and, you know, message each other like, oh, bro, like, I don't want to go to the gym today. Any messages you like, no, come on, like, go to the gym like you said you wouldn't. You're know, just having this level of like account. <sighs> fucking stupid ass fight. Having this level of like accountability is so important. There's an easy, somewhat fast way to improve social anxiety and that is to meditate and to be present. And it's easier said than done, but it's still something that you can implement right there and then in the social situation. You can just remind yourself to try your best to stay present by just focusing on something like your breath. And that's like some pretty good advice, but I'm gonna give you the unsexy answer. You're not gonna like this because it's, it's gonna be a longer term solution. The unsexy answer and real explanation to social anxiety is that we just feel socially anxious based on our position in the social hierarchy in like our status. So if you feel quite low down in the social hierarchy, you feel like an unimportant person, you're going to be more anxious because think about like everything always comes back to like our primal caveman ancestor animalistic life, right? Think about how the weak member of the tribe would feel when he feels like he's not important, valuable or contributing to the tribe. He would feel anxious because he's literally thinking shit, if I don't contribute value to the tribe soon, they might kick me out. And that's literally exactly what still happens in this modern day, even though we're not really in tribes anymore. If you're like a low down guy in the group and you're not very valuable, 
valuable. You literally have the fear like, oh, well, they might kick me out soon. They might not like me soon. They might not invite me to stuff soon. We still have that same primal fear of being kicked out of the tribe and being left to die. And it happens to us because we're so low down in the social hierarchy and it's kind of obvious to us. We're not valuable to the other members of the tribe. Perhaps we've got one thing like, oh yeah, we tell some funny jokes every now and then, but we're missing the key elements of feeling safer in the social hierarchy. And that is the respect of other men. The unsexy answer to get rid of social anxiety, it's to level up. Level up your place in the social hierarchy. Become more needed, become more valuable. I told you about Sam, like, oh, you, no, I made a joke, like, everyone needs a Sam, right? How did a guy who had intense social anxiety, who stayed inside quite literally 24 hours of the day, who used to live stream, bro, he was a live streamer, not even like, you know, one of those IRL ones. Like he used to live stream video games for like 12 hours a day to eight people watching his streams. How did that guy become my right hand man in a global movement? He went from being so socially anxious to like, it doesn't even like really pop up into his mind that much anymore. Why? Because he feels secure in his place alongside me. He feels secure in that. Social anxiety gone. It'd be awesome for me to try and give you a quick fix and oh you know the world's so dark and stuff the unsexy answer is that you've got to become valuable and that's that's the life of a man that's the journey that we all have to go through we have to become valuable we have to provide the things that the tribe needs click and watch this video right now do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.